and he will shout out things as well in order to attract people just like that and after that when the children come usually they put in small fee or you know it doesn't go free depends on the person he'll open it and he'll begin telling his story based on the picture which is shown in the prompt so this one is basically a story about the four seasons of japan and after he's done oh. telling his story he will slide it down take a new one from the bank yeah this one is kabali new one from the back here oh, and he'll slide it back in Oh. And that's how he uses these uh, cards actually to attract and to tell stories in Japan. So it's like one because slide, one slide, is it? Yeah, and he'll slide in. After he's done with his story, he'll close it up. And then, thank you very much to his show. And that's the end of the story. Cool. Now, the thing is that this, uh, during now, we take things for granted. We have YouTube, we have uh, Facebook and stuff like that, you know. We take these kind of things for granted. But remember that during those times, there was very little entertainment. That's why Kabuki Theatre and these kind of things ex uh, exist in order to retain people and to bring people together and spread a little joy in people's mm -hmm. lives, you know? Nice. So these are basically Japanese traditional Japanese wrapping cloth. Oh. Now, wrapping cloth in Japan are very famous and popular. Even now, some Japanese still have wrapping cloth. They use it to wrap from everything to bento, to utensils, to everything. And they'll, some of them are big. And it can even become like a bag right, for right, them. Right, right, right. When I went to the Japanese and the, uh, Japan Foundation in Malaysia, they actually showed me how to tie a wrapping cloth. And mm. yeah, I, I only know one style. <laughs> but there are many different ways of doing it, seriously. And their all purpose is just to save up on things. Like some people, in order to save <coughs> things like on plastic, they'll still bring this around for shopping and stuff like that. They can even be a bag for you to carry your shopping materials. I think this is the last one for now. This is all the traditional stuff they use during uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's time. So during this is a small version of it, and this is the bigger version of it. This two, this basically during New Year's, they will serve sake, and they'll also have a this one is a daruma san or daruma doll. It's meant to represent good luck in Japan, and this <laughs> item is basically a replica of a New Year cake, new cake, and they'll also have orange as well. And they also have their own version of line dance, <laughs> and this is how it looks like. Because their different, their version is actually different compared to how Chinese version is. And they also play a traditional game of badminton, their own version of badminton. I'm not sure how to call it in Japanese, but this is a paddle made from wood, and they will actually use this paddle. <coughs> Some of them are actually really well decorated, but these are usually for like decoration and stuff. The real one is just made from wood, and they will hit it, this item. Oh. It looks like a little badminton racket, badminton shuttle, right? <coughs> they'll hit it, and they'll play a game together. The children will usually play this game, and it's usually played during New Year's time. And yeah, and that concludes my tour. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for joining me.